Here is another one of those videos that could save you a lot of frustration and money and it has something to do with a tool that some people use to clean out sewer drain pipes and it's often referred to as a drain bladder. The tool connects to a garden hose and then you slide it into a plumbing pipe and then turn the garden hose on and this causes the drain bladder to expand enough to seal the plumbing drain pipe and force water into it to dislodge loose objects that might be clogging the drain pipe and allow the water from the hose to clean out some of these particles also. And as far as my experience goes with one of these, it was years ago and it didn't do anything because I was dealing with tree roots. And I'm not about to suggest that this is going to solve all of your problems. However, by the time you're done watching this video, you're going to have a little more knowledge about where to place it. And of course, one of those places might not be in the toilet bowl unless the clog is actually in the toilet here somewhere. Because if it isn't, if it's located farther down the line in the plumbing drain pipe and there's enough water pressure, not enough to get rid of the clog, but enough to force the water out of the plumbing vent. And this might not be that big of a deal if the roofing is installed correctly. However, it could be a big deal if it breaks the wax ring seal, allowing water that will be under pressure because the hose is going to be turned on to spill into the bathroom floor area. And you can stop the video right there if you get a pretty good idea how much damage one of these can do if it's in the wrong location. However, if you're not quite sure, let's go ahead and provide you with a few more examples. And in this example here, we have a kitchen sink, a laundry drain pipe, a sink in the bathroom, a toilet in the bathroom, and a bathtub. These are all the drain lines for this small house. And the same thing could happen if you end up sticking one of these drain bladders into the kitchen sink and the clog isn't located in a convenient spot. If the clog is located somewhere in here or even past this area a little bit, but it's not something solid enough that could not be dislodged with the water pressure, then something like this probably won't happen. Another problem you could be dealing with will be fittings or sections of the traps. That's probably going to be this section here or this section here, but probably not this section here on the traps that are not glued together. You're probably not going to have this problem if these fittings and connection points are glued to the other parts of the plumbing. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to use a lower volume of water, just a little bit of water and not a lot of pressure when working with some of these tools. Next up on the list, let's go ahead and pretend like the clog is somewhere else. It is not in this section right here. And instead, it's down here a little bit. We're going to take our drain bladder tool and lock it into the clean out and then pan back and see exactly where the water is going to be going if it's not going to unclog the drain. And in this situation here, again, we have this area sealed right here and we don't have this area sealed here. And if the clock isn't going to dislodge, then the water can come out of the sink or out of the vent pipe again. However, that will not be the case if we move the clog a little further down the line. Because if it's located here and we're going to be running the water into here, we now have an alternative path for the water to come up. And of course, if that happens, then we could have water coming out of the wash machine drain line. So again, the water's going in here and we don't have the hose on full blast, right? We have somebody standing in this room, someone standing in some of the other rooms. And if we see any water coming out of any of the sinks, bathtubs, toilets, showers, or even the laundry drain pipes, then you're going to run as fast as you can and shut the water off. And that might be your first sign that you need a plumber. In the next example, let's go ahead and move the clog a little further down the line. 
And if this is where it's located in this particular house, we have another avenue for the water to travel. Like I said, if you don't have somebody checking these fixtures, checking the other parts of the house, and you're standing over here with the hose on full blast, you could end up with some serious water damage. And if we relocated the drain bladder tool to this part of the plumbing, we could end up with the same situation. We have a clog here. The water from here could enter into these areas here. And by now you're probably getting a pretty good idea how many problems you could end up with if you're dealing with a stubborn drain pipe clog and hoping that it will be dislodged with water pressure. Now another thing you need to keep in mind is that these pipes can hold a lot of water. And the clog is right here and you start filling these pipes up with water. You can actually put more pressure on this clog, forcing it to go away and hopefully solve your problem. Next up on the list, let's go ahead and take a look at another insertion point for the drain bladder. And in this situation here, we are going to shove it a little further down the pipe so that it blocks off this area here and water will not be coming back into these pipes in hopes of clearing a clogged pipe a little further down the line. However, even if you dislodge one clog and you have a partial clog, you could end up pushing all of the debris from here down the pipe a little further and adding more debris to this clog here and making it more difficult to clear. So that's about all I have to say on this subject. There are other problems that I have found with other drain pipe cleaning tools. And I do plan on making more videos about that in the future. So with that said, feel free to share any stories you have about a variety of different plumbing tools, including the plumbing drain bladder. Along with your success stories, feel free to leave those in the comment area for everyone to see. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed watching the video or learned something new from it.